Okay, we've been sent in a Nikon D850 for a new rear LCD. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to have to narrate it because basically I was, um, I've never done one of these before, so I had to guess on what's going on. Um, one piece of information that I were given, so the black flex that you can see here on the back, you do have to take extra care with that flex because that flex isn't actually part of the LCD that you will be getting, your own replacement LCD. So if you tear that black flex, you are buying a new black flex. So as you can see, I've just taken the four screws off the actual back of the LCD frame. And uh, obviously remember to disconnect the battery just in case. So I'm currently trying to work out what's holding it together um, because again I'm just kind of winging it. Um, the pull tab wasn't, not the pull tab should I say, the, the connector bracket weren't unclipping as nice as it should. So we had to go for a different route. Um, I soon realised that the sub board if you will or the other flex it's actually glued a little bit to the back of the LCD and so with a little bit of alcohol um, and my pry tool once you manage to unglue it from the back of the LCD um, it gives you a lot more room to play with as you'll see in just a second like that and then obviously everything comes away really easily um, I'm still just kind of working it out. So basically, that flex um, at the top that you can see, you have to just be very careful with it because we don't want to break that flex that's connecting to the uh, that flex. Don't want to break that because it's connected to the uh, camera. So take extra care with all that flex. So there's a little mid frame. Again, what I'll do is just I'll, I'll mark it with a felt tip pen so I can keep all the orientations correctly because, again, I don't know how it goes back together. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and separate the LCD from this bezel because in the future what I might do is I might try and re-glass this LCD if I can find the right piece of glass. So I'm trying to take it off in a manner um, that we can reuse the LCD again it's always good to have the it's a fully working touch screen it's a fully working display so ideally if we can save the display worst case scenario the new display doesn't work at least we've got a backup um, or again the new display may get broken again so at least we've got a backup so now I'm just cleaning off all the excess glue and glass from the inside of uh, the bezel because we're obviously going to be reusing this bezel. Just give it a bit of clean with some alcohol. Because I'm going to be putting some uh, double-sided tape on the inside of that. I'm not going to use full glue. So now I'm just going to, um, again, trying to remember the orientation of what way the uh, screen went in. Which I got a little bit confused then. I'm just putting the old screen back in. Just because I just want to test it now that the, uh, the bezels uh, come off. I just want to make sure this screen still works all good which it does. So again, we've still got a backup. And ideally, I want to refurbish this uh, this display because these displays aren't too cheap. So now for the new display, let's get it in there and pop the, uh, the little tab back down. So at least we can test it. Let's get the battery back in. Yes, beautiful. 
This display was uh, 130, I believe, from AliExpress. So now I'm just trying to, again, work out the orientation because everything's folded amongst itself and it was just a little bit confusing. But we'll get there in the end. It was baffling me because I couldn't remember what side and what orientation that little frame was stuck to the um, LCD. But I get it in the end. I later come to realise that you can actually um, put the sub at uh, the middle frame, the middle, um, yeah, the middle frame can actually sit on the metal and like it's all on now. But you'll see in a second, I can actually just lift off the um, the outer bezel because it's not glued anymore, so it's nice and easy. So now that I can lift it up, it all can remain perfectly on the, the swivel arm, if you will. So now obviously I can put that camera to a side. And we can uh, quickly put some double-sided adhesive on the, uh, around the uh, screen. And then I'll just put them four screws back in. So it is literally just four screws and a little bit of double-sided tape. Probably one of the easiest jobs I've done, to be fair. And I have a very happy customer.